State health investigators showed up at Planned Parenthood offices in Dallas and across the state this morning. This comes just four days after the governor announced the state would cut off Medicaid funding for Planned Parenthood. Fox 4's Lori Brown is at the Dallas Planned Parenthood office. And, and Lori, what were investigators asking for? Heather, a state investigator leaving Planned Parenthood's office here confirmed that the investigation is Medicaid related, but the state is not saying anything more than that. Planned Parenthood says that the state is asking for thousands of pages of documents to be turned over in just 24 hours. Four people wearing suits from the Office of Inspector General came out of Planned Parenthood's Dallas headquarters at around noon, but they said they could not tell us what information they were after while inside Planned Parenthood for hours. Planned Parenthood also chose not to elaborate. They are asking for a range of information. And what kind of information? They are administrative requests. I do. I am not privy to the extent of the information. Kelly Hart did say investigators asked for the home addresses of every staff member. We are going to comply to the extent that we can while ensuring the confidentiality of everyone involved. Texas began investigating Planned Parenthood after an anti-abortion group secretly recorded a conversation about fetal tissue. One of them was recorded in the Houston area. Texas officials say the video showed Planned Parenthood officials condoning the sale of fetal tissue to researchers and changing abortion procedures to allow the tissue to be used. Both practices would violate Texas law. Planned Parenthood contends that the videos were deceptively edited and that no laws were violated. The video in itself is just, like I said, it adds fuel to the fire. And, and allows policymakers to kind of uh, buffer their arguments. But uh, the Medicaid, uh, any misuse of Medicaid funds remains to be seen. Attorney Cheyenne Alahi, who is not associated with the case, believes investigators are hoping to get their proof in today's document request. And that's why it's odd that they would basically convict them first and then look at the documents. I mean, they ha always had the right to look at the documents. Uh, it's an organization that takes public money. So the government can look into their documentation. They could have looked into it, investigated it, and then decided if defunding was proper or not. But they basically put the card before the horse. Planned Parenthood says the investigation is politically motivated by a governor who wants to make abortion illegal. For years, Texas has already cut funding to Planned Parenthood, making them a provider of last resort. And now, the last piece of funding is set to be eliminated in less than 30 days. The people who are potentially going to lose are the 13,000 patients who come to Planned Parenthood for preventive health care services. Planned Parenthood says that it has not yet decided if it will sue Texas like it has Louisiana. One difference between the two cases is that one of those videos was shot here in Texas. Heather. All right, Lori Brown live in Dallas tonight.